So it looks like Dudley and I are just goofing off and having a good time, but he's really here to call 911 when I have a heart attack and fall over. <laughs> Excitement. Yeah, absolutely. I, I just told Ryan this is the most excitement Fayette County has ever had. <laughs> this is just amazing. Whew, I can't believe this. Lady, I'm so sorry you're not here. You would actually know I'm very glad you're not here. This would not go well for you. Today, it has arrived, and I'm here with Charlie. Hi, Charlie. Hey. I told you, she was eccentric and awesome and possibly the most interesting woman in the world. Eccentric? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, so um, Charlie, I learned, has a history restoring historic homes. That's what I do. How on earth did you get into that? It's in my blood. I was born that way. I came out of the womb wanting to fix stuff. It's neurotic. It's, I, I get it's it. We have, our, we have our thing. I love old stuff. Yeah. Uh huh. I, so I'm clearly not the only person who wanted to buy a caboose. <laughs> and so, so Charlie, Charlie did it first. Oh, it's a cool story. Can I tell you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Tell me. All right. A friend of mine called and said, hey, there's a caboose for sale on uh, Marketplace. Let's go look at it. I said, I don't want a caboose. Uh, yeah. She said, come on, let's look at it. I said, well, I have a friend who might want one. So we all went down there and looked at it. It was awesome. So uh, my friend said, if you'll fix it up, I'll buy it. And I said, okay. Um, and so I bought it. Really glad her friend didn't buy it. Yeah, well, I, I did buy it. And then I was fixing it up for her. Mm -hmm. She had financial difficulties, says I can't buy it. And I said, great. It's mine, so then I could fix it up how I wanted it. So it took me a year, and because it was in really, really bad shape, and uh, so it took a year to we rewired everything, redid everything. Everything had to be custom because it was um, all metal. There's nothing fit. We had to weld and mold and everything. But anyhow, worth it. Totally worth it. So steel walls. Okay. No wood. When I got insurance for it, which I'll cancel today, uh, when I got insurance, he goes, okay, what's the material on the roof? I said, steel. He goes, what's the material material on the exterior? Steel. What's the interior? Steel. I said, what's the matter? Never insured a caboose before? <laughs> and uh, anyhow, so I'll give you his, I'll give you his name cool. uh, so you can get it insured too. Cool, cool. But I did find out the insulation on the inside is flammable. So, I that's good to know. <laughs> so, that's it. That is a crane. Wow. Whew. Festivities have begun. So last time, take me back. When they moved this for you a few years ago, where were you, what were you doing? When I bought it in Moravia, I had just cut off my finger a few days ago. Woo! Yeah, it was all bandaged up, and I was holding it because it really hurt. And so I played the injured woman card. So
show. <laughs> so they laid down the tracks. This is the toughest lady you've ever met. <laughs> they laid down the tracks and they leveled it and they put the ties on and they said, we're not supposed to do this, ma'am. And I went, <laughs> and so they did. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> Wait, you got a card, you got to play it. Yeah, exactly. Look it up. So this is something you have to see up close to appreciate. Just the size and the weight you're working with. I mean, each one of these wheels, I have no idea what they weigh, but they are huge. This is such a huge undertaking. Thank God these guys have done this before because I have not. And look at him up there. Just calm, cool, another day in the office. Not a bad life, right? Can't be late to this party. I gotta roll. Yeah, because this wasn't hard enough. Gotta have the added degree of difficulty. Whew! truck for the wheel trailer. It has arrived. Okay, so my neighbor Dudley happened to be in town. He's here with me. Good morning, sir. Well, good morning, and what an exciting day here on at the Railhead Ranch. <laughs> I hope we don't have a lot of days like this. So we're sitting back and watching them lift rails and track in one piece. And I don't know, I should probably get back over there and help I out. I think you should. Yeah, yeah they need you over <laughs> So I laid, I took extra careful care to space these exactly like 20 inches apart. Oh, well, it turns out they are lifting the tracks, the old tracks and the rails all in one. Okay, that's not it. But they're lifting the old tracks and the rails all in one. They're gonna lay them down and hopefully that'll work with my setup here. All right, when we loaded, every one of these railroad ties stayed on, including one that was not nailed on one side and it's going up.
goddamn. No way. This thing's actually here. We've got a Jedi Knight driving that truck. Wow. Better double check and make sure we know which side's the front. Yep. About to get western. to have lift off. If you'll excuse me, my caboose is in the air. I gotta go. small feet. The uh, driver's gonna back this 60-foot trailer over my bridge. Ah, damn. And we are stuck. Mm. So I get to save the day with my New Holland Workmaster 75. Hopefully. Now, if that, uh, that New Holland can pull this 60-foot trailer in that semi, I will be impressed. We're gonna try it. This is where I normally do a startup sequence, but I gotta get that truck unstuck. We rolling. junk by the way we got a uh, you know just a bunch of stuff we had to move in preparation for this caboose Whew. sit tight hang with me plus ton crane around and your trailer's not in the right position no problemo hook on move it I 
guess. That's what we're doing. I just want to move it over about eight feet so it goes right out that gate. You can back over those tracks at the highway. It'll be good to go. Mad skills. Wow, look at that, nothing, no trucks, no cranes, but one awesome caboose. Whew. Okay, so I haven't been in it. It's um, been disassembled, put on trucks, hauled here, taken off the trucks, reassembled, and um, let's go inside, take a look and see how everything everything looks. That is a large step. I'm going to have to put something here, I think. It's a pants ripper. Ah. And wow, that is awesome. Just awesome. I can wake up to that view. See, that mimosa tree is just perfect. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I think everything is in place where it should be. Oh, I'm gonna break this down, um, take out the straps, rehang some doors, and then we will resume the day's festivities. But first, I'm gonna see if this thing's level. So you saw how much work I put into this thing to hopefully have a level caboose home for my kid. And no kidding, I haven't I haven't done this yet. So we will see. Well shoot. Okay. That's close. It will settle. And then you know what? That's the one I was worried about. And look at that. God Lee. Wow. Okay, cool. Very, very cool. All right, so it's all about details, right? Ooh, that's a, man, that's a big drop. I guess that is uh, chest high for me. Whew, I'm glad I built it up. I'm gonna have to definitely create some kind of step situation here. Whew. But the stack, the stack is not currently on the caboose because it would be too, haul, too high going down the road. So I'm gonna reinstall that, I wanna take you with me. <sighs> Little hairy. My uh, ladder wasn't tall enough on its own, so I had to stack it in the back of the truck. Do not on or above this rung, you can lose your balance. Whatever. Okay, here we are, the stack. Let's find a nice spot for you to hang out with me. Okay, cool. Let's work on this. Charlie and Lee did a good job of taping everything up and securing this thing for us. So it wouldn't have any leaks or any issues. And I am so excited to put this thing back up because it just adds to. Look at that, awesome. And so I heard it fits best if I have the seam toward the bathroom. We're in. Oh, yeah. And that looks great. One stack on a caboose. We're going to 
gonna have to cut our entrance to pieces and then rebuild it. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna assume that it's not going to go smoothly. <laughs> My first. <laughs> but. Sorry. Interesting story. You know what? That at least you have the foresight to say this isn't going to go well. No, it's this not. is. It's going to cost twice as much, and it's going to take twice as long, yep. and we're going to have problems that we don't even know exist. Exactly. But will it be worth it? Oh yeah, totally. Oh, definitely. So, totally. There you go. But like, who wouldn't want to live in the in, train? In the train. In yeah, the caboose. Like, I would live in the caboose. It's very special. It's like, there's nothing like it. Great. Right. Awesome. Like, no one has that. To Railhead Ranch, attention, the caboose. Yes. Right. Yeah. Well, if we live on the Railhead Ranch, yes. we need a caboose. You need a caboose. You have to have one. It's a prerequisite. Yeah. Whew, and we're back. So today we celebrate. We celebrate another crazy idea, crazy dream that we brought to reality. Milady. Good morning. Hey, good morning. <laughs> so this has not been a restful week. No, not at all. <laughs> and I will remind you, I said it wasn't going to be easy. We were going to hit bumps in the road. <laughs> Just didn't realize it was going to be this many bumps. A few and bumps. Was, yeah, and that it would be this hard. But it's here, so it's okay. So we say that, but a very, very special shout out to... Um, my boy Jason over at Bobby Lehman Trucking in LaGrange and uh, Ray's Crane Service for the work they did. Those guys were amazing. Their drivers were on point. Their operators were, oh, they were, they were great. They were amazing. We had a small break in the rain, just enough to get that thing in here without sinking equipment. And yeah, it was amazing. And they did it. They were in and out. They knew what they were doing. They made my life so much easier. And, da -da! good morning, Chloe. So we are locking up and going out for a much deserved coffee with the rain coming. We're thinking what a great day to press pause on all the extra work that needs to be done, all the other projects, which by the way, you will soon see as, see as well. I do want to thank you for hanging out with us, uh, joining us on this crazy adventure. Yeah, it's always something, <laughs> so stay tuned. <laughs> We've already worn her out. We haven't even gotten started. Kiddo, what do you think about your forever home? I love it so much. It was worth it. Totally worth it. We said it was going to be worth it, right? Yes, we did. Okay. It, it is. So has it met expectations? Yes, it's exceeded expectations. Awesome. It's amazing. Awesome. Until next time. Thank you again for subscribing if you've subscribed. If you haven't, by the way, it's free. Just click that little button, it would help us out. We're just starting out here. So your help is very much appreciated and uh, I'm not above taking it. Stay tuned, we'll see you next time. We'll see you next time. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> Please like and subscribe. <laughs> so again, here's where, this is where I screw up every time. What do you say? What do you,